I'm a very instinctive player, uh, so what comes what comes to me, I, I just do it at the time um, because I think if I think about it too much, then it, it just becomes the, the wrong thing and the wrong choice to do. Yeah, it was difficult, um, obviously being so young at the time. Um, different, to say the least. Tackles flying in left, right and centre. Um, just getting smashed everywhere all over the pitch. Uh, no, I wasn't aware of uh, how many scouts came to one game. Um, but I know there was like filtering in and out of a couple of games. Um, but yeah, and I didn't know until after the game where everyone was talking about it and I seen, you know, different club badges in the, in the crowd and, and stuff like that. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think you get to an age where it's either you, you play football or, or you, t you take it seriously or you don't. Uh, and for me, it was always a priority. Uh, I put football first over everything. First game, funny enough, was against Southampton in the Cup. Uh, I think it was the Capital One Cup and we beat them. I came on for my debut um, and that was, yeah, that was just a surreal moment. You know, first time experience any, anything, anything like that, um, you know, with all the fans and everything like that. So obviously I signed for Birmingham. Um, I was living in, I was living at home. Uh, when I moved back, actually, because you know it's not too far, but I was on the way into to the game, and I can't remember. I, yeah, so there was a lot of traffic on the M6 anyway, so I didn't. I ended up being late uh, for my first game, and I ended up scoring in that game against Wolves. And Britt, well, who was uh, who was the manager back then? Uh, Gary Monk. Uh, no, no, Gary Monk. Gary Rowett. Gary Rowett. <laughs> Yeah, I think that that helps massively. Um, you know, because you can you can play anywhere, but if you if you you, you need to play consistently um, in a position where where you want to play uh, first of all. So that was that that was the manager's you know reasoning and, and why me, he put me up front and, and put so much faith into me, and you know I repaid him. No, yeah, there was a lot of interest, but. I think I, I don't think it was the right time. You know, I wanted to get 20 goals in, for, for Birmingham in the, in the championship, and that was my main target. Um, so I think it was probably the, the best decision. You know, to, to leave it until the summer, um, and yeah, in that summer was probably when it hit me. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was just yeah, like, like, as I said, it was just. You know, surreal moment that you you would have never thought that I've I've not scored since then. Um, but you know, as soon as the ball came to me, it was just the first thing on my mind. And you know, I'm a very instinctive player. Uh, so what comes what comes to me, I, I just do it at the time um, because I think if I think about it too much, then it, it just becomes the the wrong thing and the wrong choice to do. <laughs> I think it was the right time for me um, in, in my in my career. I think I'm I'm only 24, but I feel like you know I've got a, a lot more experience and want to experience different things in football. Uh, and international is, is there's no other better way to, to experience any other football like that. So it came at the right time, and I think um, I had to take it. It was, a, it was something that I couldn't turn down, and you know I'm looking forward to, to the future. <laughs> Oh, we'll, we won't stop running. <laughs> um, no, yeah, he's, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, I got the chance to play uh, at Wembley the other week against Leicester, where we where we didn't manage to win. But you know, that was my first moment, and I was just thinking about how the, the summer, and I'll be back there. So you know, hopefully, I can make it a good place to to play.